Okay, we got a limited amount of time, so let's get right into this. Remember, have fun and draw lightly. We're going to start with a line. It's going to go down the middle of the page. We can start about a quarter of the way from the top. And we don't want it to be perfectly straight. We want a bit of a bow in it towards the left side. Okay, about halfway up. We are going to draw a circle. Remember, keep it light. Above the circle, we're going to draw a rectangle. But the rectangle is going to be at about the same angle as this part of the line that it covers. And then we're going to draw another rectangle, but this rectangle is going to have curved sides. And it is going to be up here. We're going to start just behind the line with one of the curved sides. That is where our head is going to be. Okay, so we have the circle is the hips, the rectangle is the torso, and then there's the head. This area is going to be our legs down here. So the RCMP pants kind of flare out at the hips. So I'll draw a line coming off the side, off this edge, and then back towards the middle. Same on the other side, back towards the middle. And then we're going to do a line down here for the top part of the leg, a line down here for the top part of the other leg, come out for the calf, and down like this to where the foot will be. Okay, so on the other side, when we bring the leg down, we'll just get a little bit of a curve, like a backward C. And then we get to the feet. Okay, then we come to the feet. We're going to do real simple feet. We're just going to do a V shape. So from the top of the foot down and then back. Same on this side. Don't don't go all the way over on the on the bottom of his foot. I'll just go, you know, roughly to about where the the foot started uh, with joining the leg there. Because this foot's going to come down. Same kind of place, come over, and then just curl back up to that heel. Or ankle, I should say. Okay, then these boots, got the tops there. And then we got to put the division between the two legs. Okay, now then, next about halfway through the oval, we're going to draw a line across. And it's going to go, it's going to be a little wider than our, our oval that we drew. Because this is going to be the bottom of the jacket. And that is coming up the bottom of the rectangle is his belt. So we make that one another skinny skinny rectangle going across there. Okay, next we're going to join this line to the belt. So just straight up Give it a bit of a, cur a curve to it, just because we're trying not to use any straight lines. All right. Now, 
about three quarters of the way up our, 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 our rectangle here. We're going to draw a curved line that comes down just past the edge of the jack end of the jacket. This is the sleeve. That's the inside part of the sleeve. Now we're going to do the outside. Okay, he's going to come out a little bit farther. So it's closer here, farther here, because this is his elbow. Then back towards the wrist. Draw the line across to join those. Now I'm going to put a hand in here so a little C shape for the thumb going into the hand. Go straight down, curl it up a bit, and then straight up to finish off. That's because when this, this guy's saluting and this hand over here is going to be in a fist, so we won't see any fingers. While we're in this area, I'm just going to do a line here, down like this, follow this outside line, and that is going to be the stripe of his pants. So this area in here will be yellow, and then this area in here will be black. Okay, now onto the other side. We got the top of the arm coming out a little ways, and then up at about a 45 degree angle. And then we're going to come, we're going to go from right about across from where that arm joins up to just outside the elbow, like that. Just a nice little arc. And then that same kind of thing back towards the hand where the hand will be. And you can join those two. Next, I'm going to do a little, almost a J shape there. I'm going to do a real simple hand for you guys here. Just, it's just going to curl around. Uh, it's almost like he's got mittens on. If you want to draw a hand with fingers, you go right ahead. But I just, we're, we, we're short on time and I want to keep this as simple as possible. So it's just almost like he's got mittens on there. All right. It's coming together. Now let's give him an ear, which is like a backward C. And then we're going to come down to the to the top part of our rectangle. Now towards the front of the chin there, we're going to go come down again, maybe about halfway. And then the ICMP have a nice little collar, so this will actually be a little dark rectangle in here. They have an insignia on there, but I think we're gonna we won't worry about that. That's a little hard to draw. Okay. Now that we have that rectangle, I'm gonna draw two little triangles here for the shoulder. I'm not sure what those are called, the shoulder pieces. Then from this edge at that corner where the shoulder meets the neck piece, we're going to come, come down like this, diagonally across him. And then from the, the top of, you, know, you want to leave a little bit of room in there, because we're going to go from the top of the belt back up, and we want to stay almost the same distance away from that for his uh, shoulder belt. Now those two join up right where the gun's gonna be. So here's the holster for the gun and it's just a simple little shape like this. It's kind of hidden behind them there. On the other side, I'm gonna draw U. I'm drawing that at the top. Because that is the pouch that he holds his handcuffs in. 
All right, we are getting there. And then usually you're going to see three buttons underneath that. Coming down, this is where his jacket opens. Okay, we are getting there. Next, we're going to focus on the head, and I'm going to zoom in a bit so you guys can see it a little better. <laughs> and I'm going to start just a little bit above his head. Just see there. And I'm going to draw a big C. A squish C. It's going to come in, say, about the middle of the ear on this side. It's going to go behind the hand, so I won't draw where it goes behind the hand. I'll go, I'll draw, draw it, disappear, it'll stop there, and then pick up again here. This is going to be the brim of his hat. So it's going to come around like this. And again on the other side, do a backwards C. And then coming off the top, it's almost like an upside down U that's been pinched. So it comes up and rather than a nice rounded shape, you're going to go at a, at a 45 degree angle, get back into the rounded 45 degree angle, and then down. And then we're going to draw one line across the same line as that top of that rim for the band that goes across the hat. All right, we are getting there. We're going to go from the top of the ear. We're just going to come up with a little arc for the hair. Around the top of the ear there, we'll come across with a line. His eyebrows. And then an L shape for the nose. And a little mouth. And that is our Mountie. But there's a couple other things you can do here. One of the things you can do, if you want, is you can put a ponytail on it, on him, to make him a her. And the other things you can do if you want, is put another little rectangle down here for the belt buckle. And another rectangle here for the buckle on this shoulder belt. I think we are running out of time. So I will leave it at that. If you want, you can go around now and darken some of the lines that are meant to be dark. You can color in the pants if you want. You can add color if you have time. But that is our Mountie. Good job everyone and I hope I get to see some of these pictures. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a happy Canada Day.